celebrate life in its fullness. That's our theme for November. We talk about the life that we have in Jesus Christ. Today, let's talk about the communion, okay? Breakthrough from the natural to the supernatural. See, ang buhay pong binigay sa atin ay hindi lamang physical. It was not just the breath of life when we were created by God. But in Jesus Christ, we have the spiritual and the God kind of life. We may be living in the natural, but God intended that we live in the supernatural. See, God put the super in the natural so that we can live supernaturally. As believers of Jesus Christ, we begin to live in two realms. The natural realm, which is the physical life in this world. Tayo po ay nabubuhay dito sa lupa, may hininga, may katawan, at tayo ay may physical na buhay na nandito tayo sa mundong ibabaw na ito. Now, kapag nawala po ang ating hininga, namatay tayo sa lupang sa katawang ito, ay wala na po tayong buhay. Not only we live in the natural, we also live in the supernatural. It is a spiritual life of God in you. Whether you like it or not, you may not be able to be aware and conscious na kumikilos ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Pero kapag ikaw ay nanalig kay Kristo Jesus, ikaw ay may buhay na supernatural. Let me say this, without the supernatural, we are simply existing but not living. Life can only be found in Jesus Christ. When you put your faith and trust in Him, you will have eternal life. The Word of God says, He who believes in me has eternal life. And when the Bible talks about eternal life, He's talking about the divine life, the God kind of life, the supernatural life that He freely gives. Though we are undeserving, we are undeserving, God gives to those who will believe in Him. Amen? Let's talk about the communion. It's our breakthrough now, being in the physical God has led us to live in the supernatural. Now that you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, tayo po ngayon ay may kapasidad na na mamuhay sa mula sa physical at tayo yung mamuhay ngayon sa spiritual o sa supernatural. This is the message of Jesus when He fed the 5,000. Nagkakaroon po in this discussion that we are going to have I'd like you to follow with me in the line of thinking and the line of reasoning na ginagamit po ng Panginoong Jesus. Okay? From the physical to the spiritual. From the natural to the supernatural. Let's study this together. John 6, 47, 48. Read together. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes, adheres to, trusts in, relies on, and has faith in me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Pansinin po natin dito, even in the physical, we respond to the spiritual act of God. He, he, he who believes in me, that's our spiritual response. He who believes, adheres to, trusts in, relies on, and has faith in me, has everlasting life. Yung po yung spiritual na bunga sa atin. And then sinabi po niya, I am the bread of life. Our believing in Jesus allows us to receive the spiritual life. And here we find, katatapos lang po na magpakain ng Panginoong Isus ng halos limang libo at mahigit pa ng tinapay na physical. Then he used that, uh, that yung pong kababalaghan at yung pagpapakain na yon, that setting and that occasion for him to teach a spiritual truth from the physical experience to a spiritual experience. That's why he declared, I am the bread of life. Let's continue on. I am the bread of life. Ano pong ibig sabihin nito? Jesus is the only link for man to experience the spiritual while still in the physical. When we talk about bread, there is n basically, there's no physical bread in heaven. But Jesus came, he likened himself to a bread. Okay? 
which means sa puso at isipan ng tao. Madali po nilang maunawaan yung pagkain, yung bread, yung tinapay. Especially, katatapos lang nilang kumain ng tinapay. This, is, this was the reason kung bakit ang mga tao gusto siyang gawing hari para uh, siya na lamang ang magpakain sa kanila ng tinapay araw-araw na hindi na sila magtatrabaho. Ano po? But Jesus came and had that miracle of feeding the 5,000 to impress upon the people na kung papaanong sila kumakain ng tinapay na physical, kailangan din nilang kumain ng tinapay na spiritual. He's only linked to experience the spiritual while still in the physical. Just like any physical bread, we must partake of Jesus for us to have the spiritual life in Him or from Him. So, kailangan din natin ipartake. Kasi, He is uh, teaching them a spiritual principle using a physical example. A physical princi uh, spiritual principle on the basis of a physical experience. Okay? So, tuloy po tayo. Sundan nyo lamang po ako. John 6, 49 and 51. Read together. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, yet they died. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Nagta-transition po dito si Jesus. There seems to be an interplay of words and lesson from the physical to the spiritual. I'll keep on repeating that uh, aspect kasi pupunta po tayo dun sa communion later. Your ancestors ate manna in the wilderness, yet they died. Was it something physical? Was it something real that they experienced? Yes. Eating the manna, dying in the wilderness, is something that happened to them experientially, something that happened to them physically. Here comes the interplay. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness. Then Jesus said, I am the living bread. Uh, what does that mean? I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Then he said, whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. If you were thinking in your mindset is simply focused on the physical, mahirap pong intindihin ito. Paano kakainin natin si Jesus? Magiging kanibal tayo. Ano po? But he said, I am the living bread. See, he, he incorporated his nature on the bread, which is physical. Sabi niya, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Hindi po siya tinapay na nahulog mula sa langit. Simply, we can interpret this as something that is symbolical. He's talking about a spiritual truth using a physical principle or physical reality. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh. Again, mas na-complicate po sa isip ng tao na ang tinapay daw ay ang kanyang laman. At ang kasabi niya, we eat that bread. Uh, mahirap intindihin, ano po? Which I will give for the life of the world. To us who have the scripture, to us who have believed in Jesus Christ, and we experience now life in Him, we understand that this is something spiritual, which means this can only be understood by revelation, not just by experience, but by revelation of the Spirit of God. So, tanda natin, he was talking to non-believers, okay? He was talking to common people who has no idea who Jesus was. And out of that miracle, Jesus revealed to them that He is not just a man, that He is the Son of God. On the basis of what they have simply experienced, He connected their experience with the reality of His person. Kaya sabi, niya, sabi po niya, I am the living bread. And this bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world, which I will give. 
later on, sa atin po, ng mga na, mananpalataya ni Kristo, tapos na ang ginawa ni Jesus doon sa krus. Alam natin na ito'y hindi physical ang tinutukoy niya, kundi spiritual, na ibinigay niya ang kanyang sarili sa pamagitan ng kat- kanyang katawan upang tubusin tayo sa lahat ng ating mga kasalanan upang ipahayag ng Diyos ang kadakilaan ng kanyang pag-ibig sa sanlibutan. Verse 52 and 53 now. See the confusion? Then the Jews began to argue among themselves, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Siguro mas lalong nawindang ang kanilang kaisipan. Nagugulo, naguguluhan na nga sila, ay lalo pang nagulo. Ano po? You see, when Jesus speaks to you and to me, He speaks to you with the faith to believe that you will understand. He speaks to us according to our maturity. Okay? He will not go down to our level, but He will use our daily, personal, physical experience so that in that kind of, of reasoning in the physical, we will understand that God in the same way uses principles for us to be able to uh, know Him in the spiritual way. You see, God is spirit. So, ibig sabihin, if you are going to relate with Him in the physical only, mawiwindang po tayo. Okay? We will never be able to understand kung paano siya kumikilo sa ating buhay. But here comes Jesus. He's trying to lift them up to uh, bring them up to the next level. And the next level is not just the eating and of bread, but the eating and partaking of the Son of God, believing in Him as the Lord and Savior, telling them that even as you were satisfied when you ate the bread, when you believe in Jesus, by quote-unquote eating His flesh, you will have life in you. Eating the physical bread will bring you satisfaction, but eating the flesh of Jesus by way of believing in Him will result in life in you. Now, let's uh, have some guide to our understanding. Sundan niyo lamang po ako. Ano po? Common po dito, sinasabi palagi, eats and drinks. It's always in the presence, present tense. They refer to the physical acts of partaking, eating and drinking. Sa ating uh, human mind, in our physical understanding, outside of the spirit of revelation, madali pong intindihin ito, right? When you eat, when you drink, you have to give yourself. When you eat, when you drink, you have to make a decision to let it into your system, to open your mouth. It has to be a decision. You see, you, no one can force you to eat or drink. No one. Unless you say yes, and when you receive the food to eat and the water probably to drink, you partake of it. You say, thank you. Okay? They refer to the physical acts. Dito po nag-umpisa ang Panginoong Yesus upang ituro sa kanila ang spiritual na the spiritual dimension of those who would want to have a relationship with Him. That they have to make a decision. That they have to open themselves and submit to God and receive what He is giving to them, right? When you receive food, you will not be able to enjoy it if you simply receive it. Food is meant to be eaten, right? In the same way, simply knowing Jesus in the Scripture, simply knowing Jesus that He gives eternal life, you'll not be able to enjoy what He is giving you. But you have to eat. You have to drink. Okay? And you have to do something about it and make a decision as your response. This is in the physical. Sinabi rin po niya, eat my flesh and drink my blood. Ito naman, I would say this is in reference to the spiritual food and spiritual drink. 
So, nagkaroon po ng interplay ngayon. Nagsiship si Jesus from the physical to the spiritual. Now, let's proceed. John 6, 54-55. But anyone, medyo umiikot na po ang utak ng mga Hudyo na hindi nila ito maintindihan na po. But to us, we know better. But anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood, Nabag, nasabi po natin, guide to our understanding, eating and drinking, these are physical acts, okay? But the flesh, my flesh and my blood, these are spiritual symbols, spiritual representation. Eats my flesh, drinks my blood, has eternal life. And I will raise that person at the last day. For my flesh, look at the New Living Translation, for my flesh is true spiritual food and my blood is true spiritual drink. Which means, nothing can ever satisfy us in this physical world unless we take hold of the spiritual food and spiritual drink. What is the intention of eating food and drinking uh, water, perhaps? It's to nourish you, to strengthen you, that you may live. Ultimately, that you may live. Subukan niyo po, huwag kayong kumain, mamamatay po kayo. So, it talks about the things we do that results in life, in living, okay, having life. Same thing with the things of the Spirit. When we come and approach God in faith, take hold of Him, recognize Him, that the only true nourishment, the only true way for us to be able to have life is through Jesus, then we are able to enjoy this life. We are able to enjoy and partake of the spiritual food and the spiritual drink. Because, dito po, pinipicture dito, that uh, at the proper time in this context, at the proper time, Jesus is going to give His flesh to die on the cross, to be crucified on the cross, and He's going to uh, shed His blood Okay, He's going to give His blood for the salvation of man to cleanse us from all our sins. So He was projecting Himself in the future that ultimately He will give His body and His blood for the redemption of man. See, the physical acts, eating, drinking, remind us of how we receive in the spiritual. Okay? Pinaalalahan tayo, if you don't eat, if you don't drink, you won't have it. Just, you know, uh, the Word of God says that He has set the table for us. Everything you need is on the table. Pero dapat tayo po ay mag na kung ano ang sinet ng Panginoon sa kanyang hapag. Kakain tayo at iinom tayo. It means a a active participation and response to what Jesus is offering to each one of us. So, nagumisa sa sa physical act, pero, inirelay niya ito, pag ito po'y ikinokonek niya sa kanyang sarili, he is sharing a spiritual dimension. He is sharing a spiritual truth about himself. When we partake of the communion, let's talk about the communion now, when we partake of the communion, we celebrate the spiritual in the physical. Okay? Tanda natin, John 6, nauna po yung physical enjoyment nila ng bread. Then, tsaka ibinigay ng Diyos, Jesus, ang, kany- ang katotohanan, ang kapahayagan, that He is the bread of life. Communion allows us to connect with the things of the Spirit while we are in the physical. Okay? So, kay Jesus, nauna po yung spiritual niya, bumaba siya sa physical, at sa physical, ibinabalik tayo sa spiritual. Ngayong tayo naman ay nasa spiritual na. Meron tayong relasyon sa Panginoong Jesus. Binibigyan din tayo ng pagkataon na maunawaan natin kung ano yung natanggap natin sa spiritual kapag ginagawa natin ang communion sa physical. Tandaan niyo po, you cannot partake of the Lord's Supper and communion only in the Spirit. The bread is actual bread, whatever bread you are using. The drink or the juice, 
is uh, the cup is actual juice. Hindi po kayo pwedeng uminom ng walang juice. Wala kayong ininom. So, pagka tayo po yung communion or we celebrate the Lord's Supper, we are, it is something physical, but the implication and the meaning is goes beyond the physical, it is spiritual. 1 Corinthians 11, 23 now. That's why we need to approach uh, the communion in the spirit of wisdom and revelation. 1 Corinthians 11, 23, this is the passage na binigay po ng Panginoon ang instruction kay Apostle Paul na ituro ang communion maging sa mga manampalataya. 11.23, 1 Corinthians, I have handed down to you what came to me by direct revelation from the Lord Himself. Which means, this is of utmost importance. Kasi binigay ito, pinahayag ito ng Diyos kay Apostle Paul upang tayo na mga manampalataya ngayon ay maunawaan kung ano ang kahalagahan ng pagdiriwang ng communion. Again, let me say at this point, Celebrating the communion is not just physical. Celebrating the communion is celebrating the spiritual in the physical. There is something that happens, okay? That's why eating, when you eat of my flesh and drink my blood, something happens, okay? Now, let's proceed. In 1 Corinthians 11, 23, 24, sabi po rito, the same night in which he was handed over, he took bread and gave thanks. Then he distributed it to the disciples and said, Take it and take it and eat your fill. Be satisfied. It is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You see, uh, Jesus po, he, he knew where he was going as far as teaching the communion is concerned. That's why you don't find explanations here. You don't find uh, uh, some kind of interpretation to what he's saying. When he said, it is my body, that's it. Simple as that. Which is given for you, okay? But we'll talk about it. The same night in which he was handed over. This came out of the actual event or actual experience na ginawa po ng Panginoong Isus during the Last Supper. Same night, which means he was referring to a, an actual event that happened in the past. Na ang nais ng Panginoon, ito po'y pagpatuloy pa rin natin hanggang ngayon. Okay? So, yung pong basis niya. Then he took bread. On that same night, he took bread and gave thanks. The bread that he took during that time, that same night, was something physical, right? It was never spiritual. Then he distributed it to the disciples and said, Take it and eat your fill. Something physical also. And then there's a shift. It is my body which is given for you. He gave a spiritual meaning in a physical example or a physical reality. Nang sinasabi niya, It is my body. Same way as you respond to the body of Jesus. Even as you respond when you are given bread, physical bread, you eat it. Same thing with the body of Jesus, you partake of it, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Verse 25 now, in the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is a new covenant ratified and established in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So here we find that drinking, eating of the bread and drinking of the cup were, were, spirit, were physical in nature. Hindi po natin pwedeng sabihing spiritual yun. But you see, the meaning behind the eating and the drinking is spiritual. So, do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. One then is the significance of the physical bread and the physical cup. Kasi pag tayo po yung communion we prepare the elements. We prepare the bread and you prepare the cup. 
it should not be something that we take for granted. When there is a communion, it's, uh, as far as the Lord is concerned, having set a part of the scripture that makes it a direct revelation from God, ibig lamang sabihin, ang communion po, ang Lord's Supper, ay napakahalaga sa puso ng Diyos. That's His way of bringing the, the supernatural into the natural. That is that was his way and his continuing way to bring the spiritual into the physical. But he uses symbols of the bread and the juice or the cup. Amen? Physical po yun. Now, what's the significance of the bread and the cup? It is for representation. To represent the broken body, the bread, and the shed blood, which is the juice of the cup of Jesus. We represent. While we do this in the physical, because ito po iniutos ng Diyos by revelation, which means every time you do the communion in the physical, there is something spiritual that happens to it. Because there, it is a proclamation, it is an act of faith, and something happens to you when you celebrate the communion. So don't take this for granted. If it is so important in the heart of God, napakalaga po ito sa puso ng Diyos, ibig sabihin, dapat ito'y pahalagahan din natin. Amen? Amen. Number two, it is for remembrance. To remind us of the reality of salvation we receive by faith. Di po ba, when you partake of the bread, yung talagang tinapay, yun na po, at yung pag umiinom kayo ng juice o ng cup. Physical po yun. Nararanasan natin. Nararamdaman natin. Anong pinapaalaala sa atin na ang kaligtasan at ang buhay na ganap at kasayasiya na ibinigay ng Panginoong Yesus sa atin. Ito po'y totoo. Kung paanong nalaranas, nalalasahan mo yung bread at kung paanong nalalasahan mo yung juice Ganon din katotoo sinasabi sa utak nating physical na totoo ang kaligtasan na ipinagkaloob ng Diyos sa iyo. Totoo ang kaligtasan natanggap mo sa pananampalataya mo kay Kristo Jesus. Amen? That's the same way with, with baptism. Okay? Baptism, physical po ang ginagawa noon. But what happened in the, phys- in the spiritual nire-represent po ito, ipinahayag ito sa physical. Kung ano yung natanggap natin sa spiritual, ito po'y ipinahayag ng physical act of communion or uh, another, another aspect is baptism. Okay? So, it is for representation, it is for remembrance. Alam nyo, sa atin po, we are, have the likely tendency to remember when we experience it. Right? So partaking of the bread and the cup is actually a physical experience that you will not forget. Amen. Kung makamisa niya, yung kinain niya last week, alam niyo pa eh. At alam niyo kung saan ang masarap na pagkain na pwede mong puntahan sa restaurant. It stays in your mind and it stays in your heart. Sinasabi lamang ng Panginoon that Your salvation, oh, oh, it is a spiritual reality, but it can also be a physical experience. You can experience the benefits and the blessing of your spiritual salvation even in the physical. Ito po yung link na ibinibigay sa atin when we celebrate the communion. Okay? Let's proceed. 1 Corinthians 11:26. For every time, everybody say every time. Every time you eat this bread and drink this cup. Pag sinasabi pong every time you eat this bread, you are refreshed, you are reminded of an experience. Every time you eat this bread, every time you drink this cup, go back to that experience. Amen? You are, that physical act should remind you of the symbolical uh, reality of what Jesus has done in your life. Every time you eat this bread and drink this cup physically, you are symbolically proclaiming the fact of the Lord's death until He comes. Why? 
His death is our life. His death on the cross is the beginning of life for us. Kung paano siyang namatay, ang kanyang ginawa sa krus na nagbigay sa atin ng buhay. Paano niya ibinigay ang kanyang sarili? Paano siya namatay? Sa kanyang katawan at nagbuhos ng kanyang dugo mismo. Amen? So these are the things that we need to be reminded about sa ating pong pag-celebrate ng communion. Now, let me say this. What are the revelations of the communion? Ano po yung mga kapahayagan? One, it expresses our faith that Jesus gave His physical body symbolized by the bread and He shed His physical blood symbolized by the cup. Yung physical body, physical blood niya, totoo po ito nangyari 2,000 years ago, right? But now, we celebrate the same thing. But now, as a symbol. Okay? I say to you, the bread and the cup, they do not become the real body and the real blood of Jesus. No. It still tastes bread. It still tastes juice. Whatever juice you use. It doesn't taste real flesh and real blood. Amen? These are symbols now to remind us of the eternal life, spiritual, to physical mankind. Which means that even as you are still in the physical, God can bring in the eternal and the supernatural into your life. This will remind you that as long as you are here on the earth, physically existing in the body, having flesh and blood, you can experience the gift of eternal life, which is supernatural, which is eternal, which is spiritual, while here on the earth as you celebrate what Jesus Christ has done for your life. Ano sabi po niya, John 6, 49, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Amen? So we celebrate the living bread by the physical bread that we have. We celebrate the shedding of His blood by the juice and the cup that we partake. Amen? It has to become a revelation. Again, ano po ang sinasabi natin to understand the communion? It's for representation and it is for remembrance. And representation and remembrance can only be understood by revelation. Number two, ano po ang revelation natin sa communion? It reminds us that man in the physical flesh and blood can avail of the divine spiritual life while he exists in this spiritual, in this physical world. Okay? Sinasabi po pag nagko-communion tayo, physical yung tinatanggap natin. Oo, physical yung tinatanggap natin, pero yan ay nagpapahayag sa atin na meron tayong natanggap ding spiritual sa Panginoon. Na kung papaanong hindi tayo pepeding mabuhay sa tinapay lamang, kumakain tayo ng tinapay upang ipahayag, Lord, I can never have the God kind of life apart from you. Okay? I can never be nourished on my own in the physical, but I need you, your spiritual nourishment into my life. Habang tayo nandito sa mundo. That's why, sinasabi ko po po lagi, eternal life has present dimension and future reality. O, o present reality and future dimension. So now you have eternal life. Every time, as often as you do it, it reminds you that the life that you receive from Jesus when you believe in Him is real, it's true, and it's something you will experience in this life. Amen? But anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Wala pong uh, any doubt sa statement ni Jesus. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Eating and drinking expresses our response, a physical response to what Jesus has done on the cross that He gave His body on the cross to be crucified and He shed His blood. Amen? So, yun po yung palaging tinitingnan natin. And anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood as a way of our response to what Jesus has done, 
And our response, a proper response, is when you believe in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then you have eternal life. And number three, it conveys to us that even as the partaking of the elements, the bread and the cup, they have physical effects, right? Mara, malalasahan nyo po kung tinapa yan. Malalasahan nyo rin yung kung anong juice ang ginamit, right? Physically. But remember, because it was something that the Lord said in His Word that we should do, it was something that the Lord commanded us to do, to be reminded, that we be reminded of what He has done on the cross, it will surely have spiritual benefits. Ano po ang benefits ito? When you partake of the bread, physical, you receive also in the spiritual health and healing. Amen? When you partake of the cup, which is the juice, the physical juice or drink, you, re you receive provision and blessing. That's why my message today is you break through from the natural to the supernatural. And that's what happens when we partake of the communion. Amen? Do not take lightly, do not take for granted the celebration of the communion. Do it as often as you want it to celebrate. So, then you will have breakthrough. Amen? Amen.